Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Ma Channel. Sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo ang converting equations from rectangular to polar coordinates and vice versa. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang converting equations from rectangular to polar coordinates and vice versa. So, meron na akong previous videos about introduction to polar coordinates kung saan naturo ko sa inyo kung paano magplot sa polar coordinate system ng point as well as meron na rin akong video paano mag-convert ng rectangular to polar coordinates and vice versa. So, kung hindi pa yung napapanood, isilink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Okay, so ngayon, magko-convert naman tayo ng equations from rectangular to polar coordinates and vice versa. So, dito sa pagko-convert ng equations from one coordinate to another, gagamitin natin yung natutunan nating relationship doon sa video ko about converting polar to rectangular coordinates or vice versa. So, ito yung na-derive natin so far doon, right? So, ito yung relationship between polar and rectangular coordinates. So, given na meron tayong xy plane as well as sinuperimpose natin doon yung polar coordinate system. So, let's say ito yung x-axis tapos meron tayong polar axis dito. Tapos, same sila ng origin, O. So, kung meron tayong point na P with coordinate x, y at meron din tayong same polar coordinate na r, theta. So, ito yung illustration natin. Makakabuo tayo ng right triangle with legs x at y, tapos yung theta, angle between the x-axis, at yung segment OP, tapos yung hypotenuse natin is R. So, applying yung concepts ng trigonometry, ito yung mga na-derive natin. So, x is equal to R cosine theta, y is equal to R sine theta, R squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, and theta is equal to R tan of y over x. So, ito yung mga formula or relationship na gagamitin natin sa pag-convert ng equations from rectangular to polar coordinates or vice versa. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate natin yung pag-convert ng equations from rectangular to polar coordinates or vice versa ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, for the first problem, we have convert the polar equations to rectangular coordinates. So, we have A is equal to R equal to 5 second theta. B is R is equal to 2 sin theta and C, R is equal to 2 plus 2 cos sin theta. So, I muna tayo. So, convert natin itong polar equation na R is equal to 5 second theta to rectangular coordinates. So, itong second theta, gawin natin in terms of cos theta. So, R is equal to 5. So, second theta is 1 over cos theta, right? So, pwede natin i-cross multiply dito si cos theta or Multiply both sides by cosine theta so that we have R cosine theta is equal to 5. But itong R cosine theta, kanina, ano siya? So, di ba we have the relationship that X is equal to R cosine theta? So, therefore, para ma-eliminate na natin itong R at theta sa ating equation, para purely rectangular coordinates na lang yung ating magiging form ng equation, substitute na lang natin itong X dito sa R cosine theta. So, x is equal to 5. So, therefore, ito yung equivalent rectangular equations nitong polar equations na R is equal to 5 second theta, which is simply x is equal to 5. So, mapapansin nyo, isa siyang line right, a vertical line with equation x is equal to 5. Okay? Next, we have for letter B, R is equal to 2 sine theta. Okay, so R is equal to 2 sine theta. So, pwede natin gawin dito is i-manipulate natin. So, may gagawin ako. I-multiply ko both sides of the equation by R. So, pag ginawa natin yon, yung left magiging R square, and then yung right magiging 2R sine theta. Okay? So, itong R square, Para maging in terms of x at y siya, apply natin yung relationship. So, di ba r square is equal to x square plus y square? Then, equal to 
So, ito naman 2R sin theta. Itong R sin theta kanina equal siya saan? Y is equal to R sin theta, right? So, therefore, 2 times Y na lang yan. So, therefore, wala na tayong variable na R tsaka theta dito sa X squared plus Y squared equals 2Y. So, ito na yung converted polar equations to rectangular equations. Okay, so nare-recognize nyo ba kung anong type of equation ito? So, try natin i-transpose itong 2y sa kabila. So, x squared plus y squared minus 2y equal 0. So, dahil parehong 1 at positive yung numerical coefficients nitong x squared at y squared, siya ay circle, right? So, pag kinumpit natin yung square nitong uh, y, kasi x squared is kompleto naman na yung square niya, wala na siyang x term, ito na lang. So, x square plus y square minus 2y. So, para makomplete yung square ni y, mag-add tayo both sides ng constant term. So, paano yon Divide natin yung numerical coefficient ni y na negative 2 by 2. So, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Then, square natin is 1. So, mag-add tayo plus 1 both sides. So, that x square plus factor na natin to y minus 1 square is equal to 1. So, di ba, nasa center radius firm tayo nung equation ng circle. So, x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square. So, yung center natin is at h comma k or dito, 0 comma 1. And then, yung r natin is, so r square is 1. Or R is equal to 1. So this polar equation pala na R is equal to 2 sin theta is a circle having a center at 0, 1 and radius of 1. Okay? Okay, next we have letter C. R is equal to 2 plus 2 cosine theta. So for C, R is equal to 2 plus 2 cosine theta. Okay, so sige, manipulate ko ulit. Multiply ko both sides by R. So, sa left, magiging R square. Then, sa right, distribute si R. So, 2R plus 2R cosine theta. So, itong R square, gawin ko uling X square plus Y square equal 2R plus, again, itong R cosine theta, X yan, right? So, therefore, we have 2X. Okay? So, Ngayon, meron pa tayong R, so hindi pa tayo tapos. Kailangan pa natin niyang makonvert in terms of X at Y. So, transpose ko muna tong 2X. So, X square plus Y square minus 2X is equal to 2R. Ngayon, i-square ko naman both sides. Okay, so meron tayong X square plus Y square minus 2X quantity square equal. So, distribute ko tong 2. So, 2 square R square. But itong 2 square is 4. Ngayon, meron uli tayong R square. So, pwede natin yung i-convert in terms at X at Y gamit yung same relationship dito. Okay, so therefore, we have X square plus Y square minus 2X quantity square equal to 4 times R square is X square plus Y square. So, therefore, ito na yung rectangular equations natin kasi wala na tayong variable r at theta puro x at y na lang so i think mahirap nang ma-recognize itong type of equations na to so i-leave na natin to as this final form okay so sa polar form kasi marami tayong different types of curve na pwede nating ma-recognize once nakuha natin yung form ng kanilang equation Okay, so itong type na to is meron tong specific form na uh, polar equation na merong pangalan na curve. Okay, so sa future video na lang discuss. Okay, for the next problem we have convert the rectangular equations to polar equations. A, we have x squared is equal to 4y. B, x squared minus y squared is equal to 1. And C, y is equal to x. Okay, so this time, baliktad naman, meron tayong rectangular equations, i-convert natin to polar equations. Okay, so yun muna tayo sa A. So we have x squared is equal to 4y. So for x, may relationship tayo na equal siya saan? 
sa r cosine theta, right? So, naka-square siya, so square din natin. Equal, 4. So, yung y naman, equal siya saan? r sine theta, right? So, distribute natin yung exponent na 2, magiging r square cos square theta equal to 4r sine theta. So, pwede natin makancel yung isang r. So, magiging r na lang, cos square theta is equal to 4 sine theta. So, pwede na lang natin isolve yung r explicitly dun sa left side. So, divide natin both side by cos squared theta. So, cancel. r is equal to 4 sine theta over cos squared theta. So, apply natin yung identity further. Paghiwalayin ko to as 4 sine theta over cos theta times meron pang isang 1 over cos sine theta. Kasi cos squared theta yung denominator. So, r is equal to 4. This is equal to what? Sine theta over cos sine theta is tan theta times 1 over cos sine theta is equal siya sa second theta. So, therefore, ito yung polar equation ng x squared is equal to 4y, which is r is equal to 4 tan theta second theta. Okay? Next, we have x squared minus y squared is equal to 1. Okay, so for B, we have x squared minus y squared is equal to 1. So, itong x in terms of theta in R, R cosine theta, right? Then, squared pa kasi naka-square. Minus, itong y naman is R sine theta. Then, square ulit. Equal to 1. So, distribute natin itong exponent na 2. R squared cos squared theta minus ito ring Exponent na 2 sa kabila, r square sine square theta equal 1. So, factor out ko tong r square. So, r square times quantity cos square theta minus sine square theta equal to 1. So, may identity tayo dito, right? Cos square theta minus sine square theta. In trigo, equal siya sa cos 2 theta equal to 1. So, actually, pwede na to or pwede yung i-cross multiply itong cos 2 theta. So, r square equal 1 over cos 2 theta. And applying identity, r square is equal to 1 over cos 2 theta is second 2 theta. So, dahil wala ka naman ng x at y, na-convert mo na fully itong rectangular equation to polar equation na r square is equal to second 2 theta. Okay? So, for c, we have y is equal to x. So, we know that y is equal to r sine theta. Equal, we also know that x is equal to r cosine theta. So, pwede kong i-cancel yung r, both sides. So, sine theta na lang is equal to cosine theta. Divide ko both sides by cosine theta. So, Sin theta over cos sin theta is equal to cancel 1. Diba sin theta over cos sin theta is, dito ko tuloy, tan theta, right? Equal to 1. So, pag sinod natin yung theta, equal siya sa arc tangent of 1. So, we know that arc tan of 1 is 45 degree or in radian, pi over 4. So, therefore, ito na yung polar equation natin for the rectangular equation na y is equal to x. Theta is equal to pi over 4. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, converting equations from rectangular to polar coordinates and vice versa. So, wala naman tayong defined steps kung paano mag-convert ng rectangular to polar equations. Basta ang tandaan nyo lang is apply nyo lahat ng mga possible uh, relationship at manipulations in sa equation para makonvert nyo fully yung isang equation to another form. So kapag polar to rectangular, dapat may eliminate nyo lahat ng r at theta variable at puro in terms of x at y na lang yung matitira. Same as kung rectangular to polar, dapat may eliminate nyo yung 
x hat y variable at purely r at theta na lang yung magiging variable dun sa equation. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.